We live in a world that is constantly changing. New technologies make things like telephones with cords seem archaic. Trends change so quickly that kids feel the pull to purchase the latest fashion, device, or product only to find out that what was popular in the spring is out of date by the end of the year. Cultural norms of the way we eat together or not, what we spend our money on, and how we raise our children are like shifting sand. Society tells us who we are supposed to be as a people, what the world is like, and whether there is a God and what he is like if he indeed exists. In such a world, swayed by fleeting trends, how can we find a solid foundation on which to build our identities? We must look to the unchanging certainties of the universe, the reality that Christian education is built upon. God created fixed patterns, patterns which we can discover for ourselves. Students can study and memorize them. When they do this, they will begin to find patterns in other studies. This allows students to discover new applications of timeless truths. Mathematics and God are inseparable. The certainty of mathematics is due to God. The laws of math reflect God's character or God's attributes. The orderliness of the creation reflects God's character. And it's this orderliness that is described using the language of mathematics. So they're inseparable. Modern education has a different basis than Christian education. Facts, values, reason, and nature are constructs of individuals. They are not objective, unchanging realities. Rather, they depend on the perspective of the people creating them. So people say, you can believe what you want, and I will believe what I want. In the area of behavior, we see the chaos that rules as children are encouraged to express themselves and are given little restraint for fear of damaging their self-image. Adults are now allowing children to make their own choices and decisions beyond their understanding or ability to do so, including whether they want to go to school or not. Rules and laws, right and wrong, become dependent on social constructs rather than unchanging certainties. This way of thinking does immeasurable damage to the educational process as children come to misunderstand the authority of a teacher. They miss that God has placed a good authority in their lives to nurture, care for, and guide them. In modern society, we have this crazy notion, which is as old as the Garden of Eden, that we as human beings know best what is good for us and what we need. This becomes a problem, of course, when one man's interests conflict with the interests of his neighbor. When one man's uh, interests or what one man believes will bring him pleasure actually brings harm to his neighbor. And what we find is that this is actually the universal human condition. Men are inherently self-centered and because of this, uh, what comes out of man's mind and man's imagination cannot really serve as a basis for our system of laws. Christian education is built on the premise that there are certain fixed and unchangeable laws in the universe that guide and direct our interactions with our neighbors, that guide and direct how parents interact with their children, and that guide and direct how teachers interact with their students. Undergirding all of these relationships is that fixed and unchangeable truth that human beings have an inherent dignity because they have been created in the image of God. At Emmanuel Christian School, we believe that objective discoverable patterns can be found in things studied due to the reality of an unchanging God who created the patterns. We see this in literature and grammar. God is a God of absolutes, and one of the ways he shows that uh, is through his, his uh, unchanging nature and his, the way he's always consistent and faithful. And we see that in grammar. We see that in a lot of patterns in grammar. One of those ways is through what we call direct object. And we start with a subject like the girl, and then we have an action verb like ate, and then we have an object like the hamburger. So the girl ate the hamburger. That pattern consistently works. So when we have a subject, action verb, we're gonna follow it generally with an object. If we reverse it, we get something crazy. The hamburger ate the girl and it doesn't make any sense. 
Or if we take the subject and put it with a linking verb, the girl is, we get something totally different. We don't get an object, we get a, a describing word or a, a naming word that comes after it, so it won't be an object. So even in language, God is kind of built into the way we do language, a testimony to the fact that he's a God of absolutes, of consistent patterns in the way he's designed us because that's who he is. Christian education reflects the truth found in Psalm 111, verse 2, that says, Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. At Emmanuel Christian School, we want students to be amazed by the wonder of the world all around them. When they study and ponder over the fixed, unchanging certainties of the world, its patterns and designs, students can find stable answers to life's questions concerning their identity and purpose their world and how it works, and ultimately, who God is. They will become thinkers who see patterns and mold them into new applications. They will become those who, having asked the questions and arriving at a foundational understanding of God's truths, can change the cultural conversation to reflect the unchanging certainties of the universe.